Teacher Novi at your service. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for more updates. Before we proceed to the properties, let us first define a parallelogram. Parallelogram. This is a quadrilateral whose opposite sides are parallel. This figure is a parallelogram because line segment AB or side AB is parallel to CD and side BC is parallel to AD. Now let's proceed to the properties of a parallelogram. First, opposite sides are congruent. So kapag ito yung parallelogram natin, ibig sabihin yung measure ng side AB is congruent to the measure of side CD. So, if AB is equal to 7, then automatic yung opposite, opposite side niya, which is uh, CD, is also equal to 7. Kasi nga, congruent sila. Another example is this one. So, if uh, side BC is equal to 10.5 units, then side AD would be equal to what? Since AD is the opposite side of BC, then automatically side AD will also be equal to 10.5 units. The second property is opposite angles are congruent. So in this figure, angle A and angle C are congruent since they are opposite with each other. And same true with angle B and angle D. They are also congruent since they are opposite with each other. For example, we have this problem. So if the measure of angle A is 75 degrees and the measure of angle B is 105 degrees, then what will be the measure of angle C and angle D? So applying the second property of a parallelogram, alam natin na ang uh, opposite angles are congruent. So dito sa figure na to, angle A and angle C are congruent and angle B and angle D are also congruent. Ang given natin kanina ay angle A which is 75 degrees. So, ang tinatanong niya is yung measure ng angle C. So, automatic kung ano yung measure ng angle A, siya na rin lang ang magiging measure ni angle C. Kasi nga, opposite angle sila. So, pareha sila ng measurement. Same din kay angle B and angle D. So, kung ano yung measure ni angle B, since opposite angle sila ni angle D, siya na rin lang yung magiging measurement ni angle D. So, if angle B is equal to 105 degrees, then angle D is equal to 105 degrees. Okay, then the third property is any two consecutive angles are supplementary. Pag sinabi natin consecutive angles class, ito yung magkatabing angles. Pag sinabi naman natin supplementary, ang measurement ng dalawang angle ay equal to 180 degrees. So, ito yung example ng consecutive angle. Each angle is consecutive to two other angles. Ibig sabihin, yung isang angle, meron siyang dalawang consecutive angles. For example, angle A is consecutive with angle B. Also, angle A is consecutive with angle D. According sa property number 3 natin, na ang consecutive angles ay supplementary, then yung angle A plus angle B is equal to 180 degrees. Same, pag pinag-add mo yung angle D and angle A, ang sum nila is 180 degrees. Example, tong problem na to. So, given ang angle C, hinahanap natin si angle B. Tandaan lang natin yung property natin class, kung saan consecutive angles are supplementary. So, pag pinag-add natin yung angle C at saka angle B, magiging equal to 180 degrees silang dalawa. I-substitute lang natin yung given which is angle C na 46 degrees plus the measure of angle B na unknown, then equal to 180 I-transpose natin yung 46 sa right side ng equation. So, magiging angle B is equal to 180 minus 46. 180 minus 46 is equal to 124. Therefore, 
ang measure ng angle B natin is equal to 124 degrees. Again, class, kung kabisado mo na to, magiging madali na lang kasi nga magsasubtract ka na lang. So, ang gagawin mo, 180 minus the given, then you will get your final answer. The fourth property of a parallelogram, the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. Diagonals are segments that join non-consecutive vertices. For example, in this diagram, the only two diagonals are AC and BD, the one with the green and blue line. When the diagonals of a parallelogram intersect, they meet at the midpoint of each diagonal or sa pinaka-gitna. Sa figure natin na to, uh, P is the midpoint of diagonals AC and BD. Therefore, they bisect each other. So, AP is congruent to PC and BP is congruent to PD. But take note class na ang dalawang diagonals ng parallelogram ay not congruent. For example, ito, uh, diagonal BD bisects diagonal AC. And if AC is equal to 20, then what will be the value of AP? Since we know that AP is congruent to PC, and if AC is equal to 20, then we will just divide 20 by 2. So, 20 divided by 2 is equal to 10. So, the value of AP is now equal to 10. Another example, if BD is equal to 16, then PD is equal to blank. Again, since we know that BP and PD are congruent, so if BD is equal to 16, just divide uh, 16 by 2. So 16 divided by 2 is equal to 8. That will be the value of PD. So try natin i-apply yung mga na tutunan nating mga properties of parallelogram sa activity na to. So, ang given natin ay AB is equal to 3X minus 5, BC is equal to 2Y minus 7, CD is equal to X plus 7, and AD is equal to Y plus 3. Meron tayong dalawang question na sasagutan. Number 1, what is the value of X? And then number 2, how long is AB? I-plot lang muna natin yung mga given values sa figure natin sa taas. Okay, so ngayon, anong property ang i-apply natin dito? Ito yung property number 1, wherein uh, opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. Ang opposite side ni AB is side CD. So, AB is congruent to CD, meaning they have equal measure. I-substitute lang natin yung values ng A, B, and C, D natin. So, A, B is 3X minus 5, then equals to C, D, which is X plus 7. I-rearrange natin combining like terms. So, 3X minus X is equal to 7 plus 5. I-simplify na natin. 3X minus X is equal to 2X, and 7 plus 5 is equal to 12. Divide both sides by 2 to get the value of x. Kaya ang x natin is equal to 6. Now, mag-proceed tayo sa question number 2. How long is AB? So, gagamitin natin yung answer natin sa number 1 para isolve natin itong question number 2. Ang alam natin, si x ay equal to 6. Kaya ito yung isa-substitute natin. So, AB is equal to 3X minus 5. Kinuha lang natin yung nasa taas na figure kung mapapansin ninyo. Substitute natin si X. So, AB is equal to 3 times the value of X which is 6 minus 5. Simplify. 3 times 6 is equal to 18 and then minus 5. So, ang final answer natin ngayon dito is that AB is equal to 13. So, that's all for the properties of parallelogram. 
sa next video natin, i-discuss ko yung ibang properties pa na under sa quadrilateral. So, thank you for watching and God bless everyone.